back out picking. Beautiful day for it. A little bit warm, but I'm not complaining. Never does any good to complain about the weather anyway. Of course, when it's freezing cold out, we'll be complaining about that. Let's go find some Hot Wheels. A little bit of a breeze out today. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good. First table. I just can't do it. It's too broken up. Man, the dollar blanket is full. Look at this. What is this? What in the world is this for? Okay. Well, that's one dollar. Oh man, Rubik's Cubes. I'm such a sucker for those. Rubik's Cubes and rubber bands. The Nerf guns. Uh, we'll do this track for a dollar. Nice plates. To the stuff. Like that one. That's getting innovative. PVC furniture. What do we have in here? Anything? Right, we're getting getting a little empty, but I see one I like. Look at that. 2K car. What? Boris said. I met that guy. Pretty neat. That's cool too. Three. There it is. That's five. And anything else over here that I need? Eh, I want to get that van. Some tires. Hey, look at those. Petty driving experience. Race suits. Pretty neat. Got a little bit of everything out here. a better look at the games. You can pause where you want. Look at this. Let's 
see one in there. Do you have a question? Yeah, how much you got on that little blue thing? The Hot Wheels thing? Uh, the Hot Wheels? How about two bucks? All right, I'll do that. How much you got on the Hot Wheels? Two bucks a piece. Two bucks. Any for if I buy more? What's that? Any deals if I buy more or just two bucks? If you buy them all, I'll do a dollar and a half on the whole, all of them. Oh, okay. and a half. Wouldn't do a buck each if I bought them all from you? I'll do a buck and a quarter if you buy them all. That's the best I can do. How many is here, do you know? One, two, three, four, five. 81. 81 times a dollar 25. I give you an 80 for all of it. I don't know, I'm gonna play around with 25 cents. Take a hundred for it all. It's 101.25. All right, let me, let me walk around and think about it a little bit, man. Appreciate it. Tough for me to pay more than a buck for those things. I mean, there's some random stuff there that I don't want. So, 25 cents adds up quick, too. Like they, yeah. paid a, they paid a lot for that fake. I can tell. <laughs> Got a tackle box here. Oh, 150. Oh, 150? 150 you take both the reels on the side and this side. Whatever is inside is inside. You get it all. I'll let my son know. He's big into fishing, so he'll come out next week with me. Yeah. All right, I'll probably bring it back next week then. Okay, cool. Appreciate right. it, man. Thanks. 50 cents each. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm already in there. Two hundred in there. Okay. Twenty five cents each. They have a little bus. Missing some tires, but. How much? This is three for two, and this is a dollar. Is there a dollar? Yes, oh, look at these. Uh, it depends on how much because I get those okay yeah I get them six for five from over there so five six for five I get so five? less than the, a dollar yeah this? yep yep same thing NASCAR? yeah I get the NASCAR six for five from James over there oh. <clears throat>
much you have on your little cars? Uh, Five dollars each on the Johnny Lightnings. They're all older ones, early two thousands and older. Good ones there. Yeah. yeah. You don't run into these anymore. These are the older ones. Yeah, I have most yeah. of them to be honest with you. I'm seeing yeah. if there's anything I don't have. This is around the era when I was collecting a lot of Johnnies. Never find where they have the data. Yeah. Did you do three for ten, you think? Yeah, I'll do three for ten. I'll get these from you. I don't think I have that guy, though. I've got most of those frightening rods. Actually, let me trade that one for the red one. variation on the wheels. Yeah. Check that out. All right. There we go. Getting close to the end here. I'm not that much out here. Two things. I got Josh a tackle box for fishing. A bunch of lures in it. I think we're going to come back out next week and see if we can add more to the haul. Back out picking. Beautiful day for it. Not a cloud in the sky, about 80 degrees, lots of people. The market's on this side this week. Let's go see what we find. I'll take this out. As soon as you walk to the first row, you get to see this. That's a beauty. Watch out. How much you got on this? Ten, with everything in it. Ten? All right, I'll do that. Not sure what's in there, but we'll see. And I can't sell it to you. I'm just going to oh, bust it. Right? $2. Please don't, don't break it. Give it to me. No, I'm not giving it to you. Break another one. No. <laughs> Let's see. Here's some vintage house. I look like I ever missed a meal because you didn't buy something. Somebody <laughs> like you didn't buy something. Yeah. Come on now. Look. You ain't got to look long. <laughs> That's Ivory. That is one neat old piece right there with the Eagle card. How you doing, bud? Right. Hang in there. Write myself notes because I forget stuff. <laughs> oh, that's me too, bud. Then I forget where the notes are. That's just wrong. <laughs> but I do it. I hear you, man. If I stick them on the refrigerator, they never get lost. All right. So there's about 50 probably on there now. Oh, I think it's heavy. Sir, how much are your little cars? Bill, thank you, brother. How much? Uh, everything in there is pretty much right around two, three dollars, two, three dollars, depending on what it is. You know, I mean, uh, speed racers and kids are like three dollars, two, three dollars. These are all like two. But, brother, the, you know what I mean? The more you get, the cheaper they all become. How about five for ten? Would you do that if I get? Feel more happy with twelve dollars. Yeah, I don't like to give them away. For 
Yeah, man, whatever. whatever, man. But but I mean, like I said, the speed races, they're more, you know, you already know they're 10 15 dollars of sales. So I, I mean, I, you know, I'd be more comfortable. But whatever, man. Manny out here. What Manny got? Thomas is cool stuff. So four for ten. I don't know if I want like this one or I want like this one. Yeah, this is so cool. It's, it's ten. Look at that. Yeah. Well, Dem City stuff's cool. I think I'd rather have this than that. More than that. It's in good shape too. Alright, I'll do this. Oh boy. So I gotta so, rid of all that glass. Thank did you? you? So where'd you end up getting these from? I got them at Webster on Monday, the holiday. Did you? Yeah, from my neighbor. He lets me look through stuff when he gets it. But he had a whole two cases and I picked out the mint ones. Let me ask you this, will you do 50 for all of them? Man, you're looking at about you $200 60. worth of cars there. Yeah, but you know, I just got to race them down the track anyway. Yeah, I know. You could do 50, I'll well, take Well, I, I told a few guys 100 on them. But you guys always buy from me, so. You can go 60, man, I'm telling you. This is 30, I didn't look them all up, that's 30. In that condition, that's probably around 30. So, and I'm thinking that one is. And that's probably 25. I'm not sure. That might be a hundred dollar. I don't know. I didn't look them all up. So, um, 55. You got it. And I'll wrap them up good so they don't get. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the suits over here. Some stuff that people might want, the Star Wars stuff. Man, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Too bad my foot's too big.
got to find at least a dollar's worth, right? How much are your little cars? What's that? Three for two dollars. Three for two? Tell you what, we're on the wrong side, but it is pretty packed. Oh, wow. Some people want a premium. Whoa, that's a stretch. When prices are like that, I don't even want to look. So when the snowbirds are down, market's much busier, prices are much higher. Y'all should come out here more. A lot of fishing stuff. Probably some old stuff you can't get. Good humor trip. Cool. Okay. 
Oh, those are nice. Those are original Hot Wheels that came out. This car right here, the street car, this right here. Oh, oh, a couple bucks. Okay. Great collection. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, put that in the I like the little guys, man. Yeah. Can't help it. Mine are all grown up now. Aww. Little guys got like three totes in the garage. I've been collecting for him for a while. Oh, awesome. Yes, then he knows what a treasure hunt is. Uh huh. Good deal. That's pretty epic, Come on, Bob. I know, man. Trust me. It's like 20 bucks on that. Super clean, man. Yeah. Which I try pretty hard to keep them so clean. Great hard. stuff, man. Great stuff. Thank you. Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of these in a long time. Hey, you took quite a few years to put this bunch together. Yeah, I'd say so. But I'm also meticulous. I've left a lot of beat down cars behind in my day. Yeah. And I wish I hadn't. Right. Because now that people are paying, you know, twenty five and thirty dollars for cars that I used to would not even look at. Yeah. You exactly. Know, you know, stuff like these. I mean I'm not hating, these are all right, but I used to would not I don't even pick that car up, you know. Yeah. But now they're straight for twenty five dollar cars, you know. Sure. Gotta start somewhere. Well, thanks for bringing them out, man. Appreciate hey, it. And that's it, guys. A lot of stuff, a lot of people. A few Hot Wheels. High prices. Anyway, let's go home and see what we got. Guys, before we go home, let's make a quick stop at Ollie's. I heard they have some Johnny Lightning different stuff. Let's go see. Check what they got. We'll have to mute. For some reason, every store you walk into thinks you want to hear music. Anyway, look at this end cap. Wow. Unreal. Seems like Ollie's does this once a year where they just stock up on the Johnnies and the random stuff like racing champions. I love it, man. going to do a quick overview here before I start picking cars. Lots of good ones in here. Lots of repeats, too, so i got to be careful. I don't want to necessarily pick up both colorways. Just choose one I like the most and go with it. Look at the vans. $7.99 on the vans, $3.99 on the cars. Not sure if I'm going to get the zingers or not. Man, decisions, decisions. Projects in progress, import heat. Yeah, only the convertible, though. That stinks. Wish there was some other stuff in there. Look at this Mustang. Wow, sweet. Some nice, I was looking for these okay cars. I don't remember seeing them at Target or Walmart. But just picked up an RX-7 too for like $6.99. Wish I would have waited. There's some big time muscle here, but ah, I'm not really into those. Big scale. I think I'm going to get these Zingers. And let's see what Zingers I want to get. Me and Manny were debating whether that teal car with the white wheels is a white lightning but i think it's got to have white tires i don't know confusing especially in the zingers not sure what to look for demolition derby stuff man a lot of cool stuff in this batch probably gonna end up spending over a hundred bucks here but well worth it i think i saw some zinger two packs here yep look at that who's your slick this one's got a Mickey Thompson on the back and the little square body Chevy. I think I got enough. A few things to go home and look at what I got here. Back home. Man, a lot of cool stuff to look at. We'll go through it bag by bag. It's gonna go in no particular order. And we'll save the best for last. Is it just me or does the ice cream man show up every time we're doing a video? I'll be right back, I gotta catch him. In my younger days, I would've caught him immediately. No screwball for me today. Look at that. We don't go picking for fishing stuff. Not yet. 
Josh has a fishing channel here on YouTube called Starting Line Josh. Picked him up a couple of cool things out at the market. Paid 10 bucks for this. Got some great stuff in there for him to try out. You guys want to see exactly what's in these tackle boxes. Be sure to go subscribe to Josh's fishing channel on YouTube, Starting Line Josh. I think he's going to dedicate a video to going through these. Maybe even trying to catch a fish with some of this stuff. And an even bigger tackle box. Guy's almost ready for saltwater fishing whenever he decides to do that. Look at that. Lots of cool ones in there. Man, lots of little hooks, sinkers, bobbers. And great tackle box. Go check out that channel. He's having fun over there. We start off with some carded stuff here. Again, we're not going in any particular order. So I don't know what's from the first week that I went and what's from the second week. I do remember this being from the second week. Look at this. A couple of Caprice Classics. I think we got a SS Impala in here. Anyway, JLPD, Johnny Lightning Police Department. That is awesome. American Heroes on there. Oh, look at this. Patriotic Puzzle Muscle Cars. It's always neat to see what they were doing back then. There's another Caprice Classic. These are all 95, 96 cars based on the location of the mirror there. And they've got the little cut in the C pillar. Here we've got a that's right, I remember they mismarked this. There's no such thing. There's no 97 Chevy Impala SS. This would be a 95 or 96 car. That's a classic error right there on the classic gold collection. And look at this beauty. That is a Chevy Chevelle 68. Beauty. This batch is from the first week here. Looks like it was from Big Man, based on that black bag. We got some loose ones in here too. Let's go through it. Beautiful 55 Chevy Gasser. That's the Tri-5 Terror. Always love when they do the red windows. I actually was in a real Gasser that had red windows. It's like a nightmare inside there. Beautiful 1968 Mercury Cougar. Black with red. Nice looking car. Good humor. Just chasing that guy. Wouldn't slow down for me. Of course, it would have been better if you showed up while the music was going, but timing's everything or nothing. 1970 Dodge Charger Daytona. This one's got the gold wheels on it. Seven spokes. Without it, you're just spinning your wheels. What is it? Oh, the official Hot Wheels newsletter. Huh. That's not needed anymore. Expires 97. Good old days, some would say. Look at this. Manny had his eye on this one. Wow. Nissan 300Z in purple. Japanese writing all over it. It's a metal on metal car. Painted base. That is a rarity. Look at that. Even the guts are purple. What a car. And what a beautiful one here in the sun. 70 Dodge Challenger. Nice burnt orange color. A little bio on the back. And a few loose ones here. What do we have? Number 31. That's the Sickens. Good roller. And number two, Rusty Wallace. Still on its little stand. 
cool to see the little wall there next to it. Opening hood too. Look at that. See the mill in there? Sweet. Oh, a few more loose ones. A couple cherry ones there. Jeff Gordon. Uh-oh. Got trouble on that rear wheel. Wow, that thing doesn't even want to spin. Locked it up. Gotta, gotta make a pit stop. Watch out, Rusty. Number nine. Or is it number six? Number nine. Number nine, Hot Wheels Racing. That's pretty cool. Number eight. Look at that. That is Raging Racer. The racing champions? Yeah. Good roller. I like the older stock cars. This thing. I don't know why I picked this up, other than the fact that it is a. No, it isn't anything. I thought it was a Corgi or something. Never quite seen plastic wheels melted this bad. Almost looks like it has rubber tires, but it doesn't. Look at that. Let's see if we can spin it around a little bit. Nap. It's a cool car though, an Audi. Just needs a wheel swap and a paint job. Or it might end up in the junkyard. Not sure. Anyway, look at this classic. Red Baron car from Snoopy. Wow, it doesn't roll in the front. Ah, that stinks, man. Usually I check stuff out like that, but I guess it's just a shelf piece now. A few flea bites on there, but a couple chips. Ooh, just have to keep the wheel off the ground the whole time. Another black bag. Oh yeah. Ford Taurus, 2K. Nothing on the back really, but good car. Number 36, Boris said. Met this guy one day at uh, Kmart. Went and got some hat signed, maybe even some Hot Wheels, I don't remember. That was a long time ago. Anyway, cool guy. Look at this. S1 Winston Cup car. I don't know what that's all about. Neat. Here's a Hot Wheels van. Love my vans. Didn't notice that on the bumper. That's cool. It's actually on there, too. Oldie but goodie here. Catapult. Tiny car, but heavy. A lot of die cast. And always fun to pick up a drop top. Looks like it's been stepped on. Tons of stuff to show in this video. Oh, yeah. The Johnnies from that one guy. I think I got three for ten. Dragon, dragon. So I've got a dragon back there. And yeah, it's a drag car. Check out those lightning wheels. Hence the Johnny Lightning. That's awesome. Lots of fun stuff to read on the back. Oh, coming soon. Ghostbusters Ecto-1A. Huh. Here we have the Hall and Hearse. <laughs> that is neat. Man, there's the Ecto. Well, it's got the whole series there, including Christine. That's a neat car. Last one of the three. A Rod and Custom. 
That's a 32 Ford Coupe. Three window coupe, toughest machine in town. I think the red wheels on this. This is all about the cars that were featured in the Ride and Custom magazine. Someday I'm gonna have to get in my storage unit and go through my magazines with you guys. That's some cool stuff. Nice. I don't know why I picked this up. Cool little backdrop though. Shea Jerome. Restaurant 62. You know, you're going out to dinner. You pull the Jag up for a little valet parking. Nice little convertible Jag there. A little bit out of scale, but more of a 132nd scale building. Baja doesn't care. The Baja. Huh. Why does the Baja have an opening front frunk on it? Oh, it shows a little spare in there. Guess you don't need to open the back. The motor shows in the back there. I think it's missing its little stinger pipe coming off the back, though. A right, little medic car. Look at this. Beautiful, sparkly purple paint. C4 convertible. Got the Greenwood kit on there. Yeah, I don't know what kit it is. Some sort of body kit on that. Little Hot Wheels 500. Black walls. Definitely cool to find this, man. A classic. A lot of metal. Not sure when that's from. I think it's 82. That's awesome. A few more losers there. Look at this. That's a nice one. Look at that baller right there. 300C on some 30s. Oh, this one part of that train to link the pieces together. A little worse for wear. And a clone. Picked up that dollar bag. I tell you what, man, these were everything when I was a kid. Rubik's Cube. new one in the bag still. Oh, all these are still in the package. I remember if you brought these to school, you'd get them taken away immediately. So when they came out with the tiny ones, needless to say, they fit very well in your backpack. Look at this matchbox. Some sort of truck. Looks like a tow truck, that's all. What else for a buck here? Oh, part of a mech. Oh man, missing a leg. Is his leg in there? Oh man, if his leg was in there, that'd be awesome. But instead it's not. Look at this, a die cast person. Not sure who, but standing outside of the shop. All of a sudden a one-legged mech comes along. falls over. Can he stand? Oh, look at that. Who needs two legs? See how long you can balance yourself over here, Mech? Man, wow. All this for a buck, too, in that little bag. It's not a pullback, I don't think. I don't think it is a pullback. Is this a Jada? What is it? I don't know what it is, but man, look at the detail on this. Incredible looking Batmobile. The turret on here. This is awesome. Sorry, I'm running late. You guys remember these things.
So these were all over the place for a while there, huh? So it's been pretty good. Great time to take a break. And we're back. Still spinning. And who's going to make it longer? The green wins. All right, next bag. These are awesome. Johnny Lightning surf rods. Removable surfboards. Check that out. A little black and white photo. Perfect wave. 1966. Oh, check this out. Some cool surfing locations. Another surf rod. The finishing touch to a board, no, to a brand new board, 1960. That tea bucket. Speed racer. Got these five cars for 12 bucks, not bad. Vintage looking Mach 5 right there. It's on the back. Oh, there's all the cars. They had that one there, but yeah. All right, a classic gold, 33 Willis Gasser. Beauty. The Cheater Slick on the back. Looks like a Cheater Slick. Oh no, it's got tread. Oh man. Dale Earnhardt, number three car. Look at that. Well, action card on the back. These action cars were awesome. Picked up this thing for a couple bucks and saw this in there. It's made it worth it. Got a few of these, probably in better condition, but it's a final run of that thing. That's awesome. Love those wheels. And what else is in this? A little fantasy car and crown book. Anything on the other side? Nope. But you've got a little thing here. And of course, you can put the car in there. And let's see if we can get this to work without going in the pool. There you go. Crash them right into this. Slow mo crash coming up. Yeah, it did. Well, at least it happened to the junkiest car. Set that over there. Neat little thing for two bucks. All right, I'm gonna need to move some of this out of the way. Let's take a look at some of these Ollie cars we got. I wasn't gonna stop there, but I'm glad I did. Fun car. Look at this stack of cars. This is incredible. $3.99 each. And I think the two packs were $7.99. Anyway, let's go through them. This was the only import heat that was there. Not complaining. Cool little MG. Nice. Some okay cars. More than okay, though. Chevy Camaro Z28 1LE. My favorite out of the bunch. Look at that thing. Chevy Monte Carlo. It's like something your mom would have drove back in the 80s. Nah, we had a Dodge Aspen. Would have much rather had one of these. 73 Grand Am. I grew up seeing all these cars on the road. Cool color choices back then, too. You could get a beige car. Caterpillar Squish Green. All kinds of cool colors. There is a, another Grand Am. Why'd I get two? 
Well, guys, there you go. We ended up getting both. Pretty neat variation, though. Look at that. White walls on one, white letters on the other. So definitely looks a bit sportier. Same year car? Yeah. Another okay car. This is the Roadrunner 76. These were dirt slow, but pretty neat. Look at that one. 76 Plymouth Filare. Not too far from the Aspen that we had, but the Aspen we had was a four-door and it was blue. It was not the Roadrunner. Some racing champions here. This one is awesome. 70 Chevy Chevelle 454 SS car. Red alert on the front. Other racing champions, the Charger Daytona. That's neat. Street Racers Inc. The red lines on it. Beauty. There we go, Mr. Motion. That's the Baldwin Motion 68 Chevy Chevelle 427 car. That's what super stock was really super stock. Here's a Zinger 66 Chevy Chevelle. These things are pretty fun, man. That's awesome. Reminds me a lot of the artwork you'd see back in the 70s. Here's some zingers. Two pack, $7.99 for these. Yeah. Still not bad. Cool looking truck in this one. And the Hoosier Slick on the back of there. What else we got here? Another zinger. Road Thunder. This is the Plymouth Roadrunner. Cool to see it jacked up in the back. These things run good too. Not sure if I'll get these out and put them down the track or not. We'll have to wait and see. Some regular Johnnies. Awesome C6 Z06 in yellow. The black wheels. Not a big fan of stripes on the car, but look cool on this. Look at this. Chevy Bel Air 62. Man, I just love that setup with those hubcaps. That is a beautiful car. Wow. And Mazda RX-7. I think I mentioned, I just bought this thing at Target or somewhere for $7.99. Here, I got it for $3.99. It's a black one, though. This is cool. I think I got a red one. Here is a red Lotus Esprit. It's to see these on the road from time to time when I was a kid and loved it. It's almost like seeing a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. And... Pontiac Firebird. Awesome looking flame job on the side. Black car. White lettering on the tires. That looks neat. That's a cool one. Get these out of the way so I'm push it back. Another zinger. Just a little variation with the Mickey Thompsons on the back and red and white truck. Big blower motor sticking out of the hood. That's awesome. Boogie Vans, two pack. Man, this thing weighs a ton. That's awesome. We also had one of these when I was a kid. Same exact brown, didn't have the graphic on the side. When we bought it, my dad took it home and cut a window into the side of it. So it had this big window in the side and a big bed in the back. Seat belts weren't even a thing back then. Yep, cool van. Some cool vehicles in my household in my childhood. Look at this thing. 63 Ford Galaxy 500. Beautiful looking dark cherry car. Wow, that's nice. Little Ford Ranger pickup. Always get a kick out of the wheels. They make the wheels look so authentic. Really neat. Got a couple variations of that car there, but I like the yellow one. Project in progress. 
imagine when he gets done with it, that'll be a cherry El Camino. But right now, it's got a little rust. Some primer door, primer hood, primer time. What else was in that thing? Oh, another zinger. Impalomatic. That's awesome. Beautiful car. Love that blue. Almost finished with these. Chevrolution. Nice Chevy Chevelle. And, nope, got one more after this. Death on two legs. Shouldn't it be death on four wheels? Yeah. Anyway, pretty wild. Last up from Ollie's. We have Demolition Derby tow truck. Pretty cool. Of course, nobody in their right mind would bring such a cool looking pickup truck out to the Demolition Derby. This might be the actual tow truck that hauls the cars away when they're totaled. All right, push everybody back a little bit. Now, on to the grand finale. Well, guys, you know me, I like to get a bargain. I'm sure there are people that could find these for cheaper, but I don't think I did too bad. All eight cars for 55 bucks. And man, they are cherry. Look at that. Metal on metal. I definitely do not have this one. I've got the one that says Corvette on it, but I've never seen this car. Beautiful black walls. You guys that are familiar with the old Hot Wheels, it rolls well and it rolls heavy. Look at this. One of my favorites. When I was a kid, I just wish they made this thing. And the coolest thing about this, look. You want it jacked up a little more? That is so cool. Then you could hit the switch and come down one, come down again. I love it. That's two of the cars. Look at this beauty. Neat streeter. Oldie but a goodie, it says on the back. Always love that. Metal on metal. Beautiful color. These are so clean. Not sure if it would win a drag race, but man, very good condition. Don Perdome Army car. Let's see the top goes up. We don't want to go too far up on it because that's how you break them. I love the way these look from the back. Look at that. The parachute. The rumbler. Just rumble and die cast. A little lighter weight one, but Silver Surfer. That is awesome. Look at that shine coming off of there. The cool interior. This thing. Number 10. This was a cool car. This had a lot of variations to it. So black walls on it. Metal on metal. A little bit of plastic on there, but one of my favorites as a kid. I had the blue one. I had the blue eagle with the fat black walls like this, and I had the one with the real riders on it. I just loved it. Still love it. Great roller. And last up for my 55 bucks, the Incredible Hulk. That is a beauty. Wow. That is awesome. Let's see if we can actually look inside there because that's what it's all about. I'm taking you guys in. Let's see if we can see it. 
have to do a little focus job. I don't know if this is going to show up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There it is. Can you guys see it? That's inside the vehicle. Very cool. That was awesome. These were so cool to get as a kid. Feast your eyes, guys. That is quite a haul. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. There's one more thing I want to show you, so let me get the table cleared off. We'll have a little bit of fun. Last thing we're going to look at. Look at this for a dollar. You guys know what this is? It's a battery-operated slot car track. Let's open it up. Didn't even look inside it. Just bought it. Look at this. Man. Gotta get up for this. Look at this. We've got an entire racetrack in here. Are you kidding me? Now, does it work? Well, we're gonna find out. We've got both controllers. We've got the cars. Check them out. Pretty neat. Fix our braids. Don't think it matters. All right, let's give one some gas, see what happens. Nothing. Is there an on button? That'd be the next thing to look for, right? There's the lap counter. What is this, lap counter? Oh, there it goes. Hold on. We're in business. This might just be one of these slot car tracks that are a little bit hard to work with. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that runs pretty decent. Yeah, that works here. Oh, that's that. That one works really well. Of course, it looks like the rails might need a little bit of sanding. They get a little rust on it for a while. But anyway, for a dollar? Come on. Keep me entertained all afternoon. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. It's a lot of fun. Happy picking out there. Hope you find what you're looking for. Take care. Put these right up on the top shelf. And we'll stick the Hulk with the Hulk stuff. Any room for Silver Surfer? Right there. See ya.